What's going on Nakamas? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 103 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, it's time for comment of the day. And comment of the day comes from Ropside JA, who went ahead and informed me that yesterday was actually Shanks' birthday. And not only that, that uh, Mihawk actually shares the same birthday as Shanks, which is kind of mind blowing. Like, granted, it's a, a anime and it's written so they can choose whatever birthdays they want. But still, the fact that the two strongest characters we've seen so far share the same exact birthday is kind of crazy. Like, if that happened in real life, that would be mind blowing. So I'm treating it as real life. It's crazy that they have the same birthday. Um, and uh, also, uh, um, what also made me, I really liked about this comment was that. Um, when Robside shared that in the Discord chat yesterday, it prompted people to also advise that they have birthdays uh, similar to other anime characters. Um, so I'm curious, do you guys share a birthday with any other anime characters? Not necessarily from One Piece, but just any other character. Um, my birthday is June 13th, so I'm curious if there is a One Piece character that I share a birthday with. Um, I don't want to look it up because I don't want to be spoiled by the character, but... If anyone knows if there's a character with June 13th birthday, I'd greatly appreciate you letting me know if that is the case. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and roll right into today's episode. But before we do that, this is just a daily reminder that this is not a market substitute. <laughs> yes, you do! Hmm. Interesting. Why would Shane why would Ace give him that? Good idea, Nami. Of course it's paper, so I don't <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for finally mentioning that. <laughs> Is he going to carry one of them then? Okay, your hair is a hi 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 I'm assuming she's a musician now my brain is just racking like what is she gonna be playing I'm trying to think all right so this is how they're gonna win me over with his charm because if he's dancing to the classical music and doing ballet Alright, I, I can see how you guys can like Bon Clay Clay. Oh, 
I love his like. What do you would you consider it flamboyantness? I don't know, but I love it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I can't wait to see everyone. Oh, God. Oh, good God. That looks like trouble. I don't know. I, I, he's growing on me so far. So this wasn't Mr. One? You know dude's dope when his name is Bolden like that. Oh, I forgot his power is slip, isn't it? Did he, he didn't slip. Did he slip through it? I don't know what. It was weird. Dude. <laughs> Got him! <he>. Got him! <laughs> so Paula is part of it? Oh, man. I'm so disappointed. I was looking forward to you. I don't fuck with your outfit, though. Hmm, hmm. Look at the turtle smoke with his cigar. So disappointing. I don't like that their hands just hang there. They need to move while they're running. Y'all need some showers. How can you see that far? Did I, did I miss something? Like they're in the desert. Like they, they should be used to or prepared for this, right? ふん。ここはオアシスの町じゃないのかよ、ビビちゃん。砂で地層が上がったんだ。オアシスの飲み込まれてる。砂漠の旅は砂漠の旅は少々枯れている。だが、ゆっくり休んでいくといい。<笑
finally met someone that might fit the Civil War aspect. Is that in the opposite way we were we've been heading? <laughs> He's a camel, guys. Leave him alone. <gasps> That's Koza's dad? My god, dude, what happened to you? Agreed, Vivi. Holy shit. Hmm. So I feel like we're finally going to start to get the Civil War aspect because he's obviously saying fuck the rebellion. He's on the side I take it the king. That's more Civil War-esque. I do. Hmm. I wonder what could have. I wonder what could have happened that made Koza not like listen to his dad when his dad was probably like, "Yo, Koza, don't believe these rumors." Hmm. Why haven't we seen anyone defending the king then? That. Why was she so surprised? Like, it's a rebellion. I should probably start to pay attention more in the beginning when they're showing that map of Alabasta because I'm so confused on these cities, I'm not going to lie. It'll be a lot easier now that we know most people agree with the king or on this king's side. I like your sunglasses, Koza. So maybe they did make it lush and then once all the drought happened, it ruined like his dream and that's why he holds resentment to the king. Alrighty, well that was it for episode 103 of One Piece and the plot is starting to thicken up a little bit. Uh, we finally got the other half of the Civil War. Um, I've been saying it since day one when they brought it up that this wasn't a Civil War because there was an internal conflict between the citizens. But Toda just confirmed that most people are actually on the king's side. Like they kind of... He didn't necessarily necessarily say it was a conspiracy theory, but he did confirm that most people don't think the king would have used the dance powder, thus he must have been set up. Um, which then in turn makes our job a lot easier as far as stopping the rebellion. Um, it, if I had an analogy, it would be like the civil war we had here in America. It's, it's like slavery, you know, most people were for ending slavery. So all you had to do is basically stop the South and then there was gonna, that was gonna be it. Same thing here. It's like once we beat Croc and like his gang, 
we don't have to then go and convince the people that he was evil. They're already on our side that he's probably evil. We just have to stop what he's doing. So that, that makes our job extremely more easy, especially now that, you know, we have Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, who are fighters. That's a lot easier than being like diplomatic if they had to do it that route. Um, but I, it does also, um, this episode also prompted me to think what happened between Koza and his dad because they were pretty tight. And I'm assuming that when the rebellion kind of like started or Koza started to form the rebellion, his dad probably talked him out of it. Like, dude, that's not true. The king would never do this. And something had to have happened or some information, something happened to where Koza's like, dad, no, you're you're wrong. Like, it's a, de the king definitely did this. I, I don't know how else to phrase it except for like that is that something happened to make Koza not want to believe his dad I guess uh I kind of alluded to it that like maybe um they actually did create their quote-unquote did he say kingdom or town or whatever they made it very lush like he wanted it was prosperous it was filling and then the drought happened his town then goes into the dumpster and then he looks around and is like obviously the fucking king um that's only my prediction, but I don't think it really explains the the dynamics between Toda and Koza and his dad, but that's my best theory. Um, but I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my reaction. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been really interesting later on.